Hello and welcome back to my Metasploitable tutorial series. In this video we're going to be talking about port 80. Port 80 is generally the port that web servers run on. And we can see here HTTP, we have a web server running on this port on our Metasploitable machine. So, we can get some uh, information out of this port. And we can also exploit this port to give us access to the machine. So go ahead and do some research. Um, try to find more information on this port. We're going to need to figure out what version this is running to see if it's exploitable. Go ahead and try this yourself, and we'll be right back. All right, if you were able to exploit port 80, good job. Let me show you how I do this one. First, we're going to need a little bit more information on what service version is running. So we can do the version scan again with nmap. Oops, 192.68.6. And port 80 specifically. And here we can see it's running Apache 2.2.8. Now, since this is running a web server, we can just open up a web browser and navigate to our Metasploitable machine and see what it's hosting. And it's hosting a little website with a few links. Now, these links are vulnerable web services that we'll talk about in future videos. But something to notice, there's a username and password right here in plain text on the website. So it's always a good idea to look at what it's hosting. If it's hosting a website, you might as well look at it. Now, most of the time, people aren't just going to put their username and password in plain text on their website, but you could gain other useful information by looking at it. So let's go ahead and see if we can find a little bit more information on this service. And we can do that with a Metasploit module. It's the one I have open here. If you type use auxiliary scanner http http underscore version oops I already have the R host set to our Metasploitable machine and it defaulted to the correct port 80 and this should give us uh, some more information we can see that it tells us we're running Apache 2.2.8 like we found over here, uh, but it also says what version of PHP we are running. This PHP 5.2.4. So if we just uh, search Metasploit here and uh, look for Apache 2.2.8 and PHP 5.4.2 we can see it gives us a lot there are a lot of exploits in here and it's going to be hard to figure out which one we need we could go through and just start trying them and seeing if it works just trial and error but I think we can narrow it down a bit more you can use the command search exploit and this searches exploit DB so exploitdb.com is this awesome website with a lot of exploit code. It's a good place to look when you're trying to figure out um, different exploits for different um, services. So we can use this. And let's search for Apache. And we'll sort it by our PHP version. And we can see Apache plus PHP version. And it uh, has our version here. There's two here. Now, we're going to be wanting to use this second one uh, because I know this first one is just a scanner. The second one, we can do this two ways. We can download this uh, script here or this program look through it, make sure it's safe, and then compile it and use it directly like that. Or let's go ahead and see if there is a module in Metasploit that is similar. 
Um, so it's a CGI remote execution, remote code execution. So let's, um, if we, let me clear this real quick. If we search for CGI using grep in Metasploit, search, and we'll do the same search as before, 2.2 point, oops, 0.8, PHP 5.4.2. Now this is a much more manageable list. And we can look through here, so this is an auxiliary scanner. We're looking for an exploit. This is a, a Linux, Linksys apply. Uh, this has to do with a specific access point made by Linksys. This one has to do with a Netgear router. Um, this looks somewhat promising. This mod CGI bash environmental variable code injection. So that would be one to maybe try. And this uh, PHP CGI argument injection. And this Apache Tomcat one. So, and these are all labeled excellent. So it's it would be decent to try any of these, but we are going to use this one because I know it works. But this gives you a much more manageable list to use instead of trying to manually search through that huge long list that we found. All right, and it's asking for our hosts. We'll set that to our Metasploit, Metasploitable VM, and it already has the correct port. Let's go ahead and run this. And we have a Meterpreter shell. Guess who am I doesn't work in Meterpreter. Anyway, we have access to the machine now. So if you're able to figure that out, good job. If you found a different way to do it, put it down in the comments. Uh, and this next video, we're going to be looking at the RPC bind port. All right, until next time.